Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 274. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPs, etc. I'm the Prisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. The glorious work in which among the following can be best credited for calling the Shah Jahan's reign as glorious epoch in the history of Mughal Empire. The correct answer is architecture. Many historians describe the reign of Shah Jahan as the golden age not only of the Mughal Empire but that of enter medieval Indian history and this architecture plays the primary role in that. Which among the following has been used in the sculpture of Mathura school of art? Correct answer is red sandstone. So uh, Mathura art refers to a particular school of Buddhist art which centered on the city of Mathura in central North India during the period of which Buddhism flourished in India. The art of Mathura is usually contrasted with the Greek or Buddhist art of Gandhara. What was the job of Rupa Darshaka in Mauryan era as per Arthashastra of Kautilya? Correct answer is Royal Examiner of Minted Coins. Arthashastra of Kautilya speaks about the role of the Lakshana Dhaksha or the superintendent of mint who knew about the symbols and the Rupa Darakshaka who is the examiner of coins. Who among the following succeeded Ruknuddin Firoz? Correct answer is Razia. So uh, Ruknuddin Firoz was the brother of Razia and son of Iltutmish who was assassinated within six months of getting the throne. Razia is known for being the only female ever to rule Delhi Sultanate and the only female ruler of Delhi. And uh, she rose to the throne because her uh, brother was assassinated. Which among the following is related to history of Kashmir? Correct answer is Raj Tarangini. So Raj Tarangini or Raj Tarangini is a metrical legendary and historical chronicle of the northwestern Indian subcontinent, particularly the kings of Kashmir. It was written in Sanskrit by Kashmiri historian Kalhana in the 12th century CE. Which of the following was a common way of Chola kings Rajaraja I and Rajendra I to commemorate their victories? Correct answer is by erecting temples. So there are three great Chola temples of the 11th and 12th century. The Vihadishwara temples of Thanjavur, the temple of Gangai Kondalicholiswaram and the Airavatishwara temple of Dharasuram. So these were all temples erected to commemorate victories. Who among the following imposed press censorship? Correct answer is Lord Wellesley. In 1799, Lord Wellesley promulgated the press regulations which had the effect of imposing pre-censorship on an infant newspaper publishing industry. So the publishing industry was only gaining momentum at that time in the Indian subcontinent and this act wanted to curb those voices. Shalmani in West Bengal is best known for which of the following? Correct answer is modernized currency notes press. So Shalvani is a village in Medinipur district of Indian state of West Bengal and it is the location of one of the Reserve Bank of India currency printing presses. Which among the following is the world's largest foreign exchange market? Correct answer is London, which is followed by New York, then by Tokyo, and then by Zurich and Frankfurt. What is the equity of Reserve Bank of India and National Housing Bank? National Housing Bank is wholly owned by the Reserve Bank of India, so the equity is 100%. National Housing Bank is a government of India-owned entity and was set up on 9 July 1988 under the National Housing Bank Act 1987. It is an apex financial institution for housing. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.